Welcome to the McMaster Cardio Respiratory Lab in Hamilton. We're a close-knit team of researchers from different disciplines that strive to improve the lives of those living with allergic asthma. Over the past few decades, allergic asthma has been on the rise in Canada, and it's been placing a growing burden on our healthcare system. Well, what is asthma? Asthma is a chronic inflammatory condition that can cause difficulties in breathing. While the exact cause is unknown, some of the basic immunology of asthma can be understood by first looking at the chicken. The bursa of Fabricius is an organ unique to birds, and by studying young chickens with this organ removed, it was noted that the chickens were unable to mount a response against foreign pathogens because they couldn't produce antibodies. Antibodies are proteins that are incredibly important in the immune system as they allow us to mount a defense mechanism by recognizing foreign pathogens upon binding. While they can protect us from the harmful particles we might breathe, sometimes during immune dysregulation like an allergic asthma, the production of these antibodies may be pathogenic. Take for instance Harold here, who is allergic to pollen. When he breathes in pollen, he can experience a great difficulty breathing. Chronic allergic asthma can even change the shape of the airway, making it even more difficult to breathe. Those with chronic allergic asthma may find that current treatments do not help them reduce inflammation. This inflammation can be traced back to pro-inflammatory antibodies from immune cells, known as plasma B cells. While they were normally thought to trigger inflammation, it was found that a subset of these B cells can actually dampen inflammation. B cells are known as regulatory B cells or BRICs. Regulatory B cells are able to control inflammation by interfering with inflammatory pathways by secreting proteins such as interleukin 10 or transforming growth factor beta. At the cardiorespiratory lab, one of our studies found that asthmatics have lower levels of BRICs in their blood in comparison to healthy people. However, if we look at asthmatic airways, they have higher levels of BRICs in comparison to healthy people. This suggests that BRICs migrate in asthmatics from the blood to the airways to try to decrease this harmful inflammation. However, future steps for our study may include better methods to identify BRICs, as they are quite diverse and can be quite difficult to label, in addition to more insight into the application of immunotherapy. This research could potentially allow people with allergies to achieve an induced state of tolerance by increasing levels of these anti-inflammatory antibodies. This treatment could be a breath of fresh air to the 2 million Canadians out there who are just like Harold.